Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to share with you my favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features for GoodNotes app. I use GoodNotes almost every day for digital planning and note taking on my iPad. Digital planning is what my channel is all about. So let's get straight into the tips and don't forget to update your app to the latest version. Record audio from your lectures and meetings and take notes during and afterwards you can replay your notes along with the audio. Add favorite pen and highlighter colors by tapping on the plus icon and choose your color from the panel. You can delete them by long pressing and remove color. You can zoom into a part of the page and I find this makes it easier to handwrite neatly. You can adjust the level of zoom as well as how wide the zoom panel is and it also automatically scrolls the page forward when you write in the blue area. And this is really helpful for continuous handwriting. You can type over the entire page without having to add text boxes. The automatic line spacing means your text fits perfectly on the template lines. You can also handwrite and it will automatically turn into text. If you don't like your handwriting, you can have it turn automatically into text. Choose a font, size and color and save it as default. Then select the text tool and tap anywhere on the page and just start writing. Make sure you have scribble turned on in settings under Apple Pencil. You can delete text by doing a squiggle, insert or delete spaces by drawing a vertical line and select words by drawing a circle. You can add new pen colors using hex codes. Simply copy the hex code and paste it in and add it to presets so you can use it again. To rearrange colors, just drag and drop them. To find the hex code of something, you can take a screenshot with the Apple Pencil and go to the color dropper tool to get the exact hex code. To add more fonts into GoodNotes, I use iPhone app and here you can find free fonts to download. Then go into imported fonts and follow the installation instructions. Go to settings, profile downloaded and finish installing the font. You can change the scrolling direction of your document by going into settings and changing it to vertical or horizontal. Under the eraser dropdown, you have different options. Use the precision eraser if you need to erase some small details. Use the shapes tool to draw perfect shapes and you can also adjust your shape by tapping on the lines. If you don't want the outline, just tap the back button after you've drawn the shape and to remove the fill, you can tap it with the eraser. You also have this option here whether to fill your shapes with color. Use the lasso tool to select objects and you can change the color of handwriting, highlighter, shapes and text. And use this tip to access your favorite pen colors within presets, which you would not otherwise find under the text tool options. To get more screen space, you can hide the iPad status bar. Just go into settings and uncheck this option. To duplicate an image, just select it, long press and drag it to the side. You can also switch tabs and drop the image into a different file. The lasso tool also lets you take a screenshot of anything on your page and you can copy and paste it as an image. You can also use this trick to make your own sticky notes using any pen color of your choice. The freehand crop tool gives you the flexibility to crop your images however you like. If you've drawn some notes or doodles and want to save it, use the lasso tool to select everything and add it to the elements panel and it will add the whole thing onto your page when you want to use it again. You can resize the individual parts and it will remain as a group. You can also bulk import images by creating a new collection, then open up files app in a split screen window, select the images you want to add and drag and drop them into the collection. You can also expand the elements into a side panel to see more of your stickers. To add another page when you reach the end, simply pull to the left and a new page will be added. You can scan physical notes and it will automatically clean and brighten them up. I like to use the highlighter to color block in my planner. You can draw a shape and hold and it will automatically snap into shape. 
if you're working with handwritten notes, enable erase highlighter only under the eraser options and it will not erase your handwriting. Create your own note templates by going into settings under notebook templates. You can import any PDF or image file and turn that into a template. To rearrange pages, you can tap on the four squares icon and then drag and drop pages to move them. Open a second window by tapping the three dots at the top and then choose your second app. I use this feature to drag and drop images from my photo album. You can also open up a second GoodNotes window. So here I have the same planner in both windows and this lets me cross-reference between pages and you can drag and drop handwriting, images and text from one window to the other. iPad OS 16 allows you to lift out objects from images and photos and you can just long press on the object and drag it onto your page. You can enable different options under the lasso tool and this allows you to choose what objects you want to select. This is useful if you only want to copy or move certain things. If you find some web notes you want to save and annotate, tap on the reader option if it's available and this will tidy up the page. Then take a screenshot and choose full page, then share this into GoodNotes. GoodNotes can also be used on your iPhone or Mac and you can sync your files between different devices by using the same iCloud account. For example, I can plan on the iPad and be able to see my shopping list on the iPhone. On my home screen, I have a custom shortcut to my digital planner in GoodNotes. You can quickly access any file by using Shortcuts app and tap on the plus icon, choose your file from the suggestions list, tap on this icon here and add to home screen. You can then choose an icon photo and rename the shortcut. You can drag and drop handwritten notes to other apps using a split screen. Here I'm adding items from my digital planner in GoodNotes to my Apple Calendar and Reminders. Instead of switching to view mode to use hyperlinks, you can long press on any hyperlink to open links. When you have a lot of tabs open, you can close all of them except the one you're working in by tapping on this icon and close other tabs. You can change text box width by dragging the blue dot handles and this helps you to type without going off the page. You can search for particular words in a file and here are all the pages where that word appears. You can also search across all your files and it will show you titles, written notes, PDF text and typed notes. Tap on the image tool and tap on an image and you can pull the handles to stretch it longer or wider. Use the lasso tool and draw around your handwriting, tap inside and choose convert, tap on the share icon and copy, then you can paste the text onto the page or into other apps. To add a web link to a text box, select the text and tap on link and you can write in the web address. To delete everything on the page, go to the three dots and tap clear page. If you're using a keyboard, there are shortcuts to toggle between the different tools and these are very intuitive and easy to remember. If you prefer working in dark mode, switching to dark mode on the iPad will also change the GoodNotes interface. You can favorite documents and pages and filter under your favorites to find things more easily. Double tap on the plus icon to create a quick note and it will automatically name the document for you using your handwritten title. To collaborate with others, tap on the share icon to share a link to your document and use the comments function to add comments and it will keep a history of who said what. Let me know if you have any GoodNotes tips that I haven't mentioned and check out my plan with me videos to see how I use GoodNotes for digital planning. I also have a beginner's tutorial video if you need a more step-by-step -step guide. Give me a thumbs up if you found this video useful and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching!